Hey y'all, it's Sunday afternoon and I'm loving spending the day in my garden. It's very blustery day. I feel like I'm in Winnie the Pooh's The Blustery Day episode. Um, and I've been out here frantically searching for these, my Falco clippers. I love these things. I have them linked below. They're the best. They don't get dull. I just love them. Anyway, I put them in my chair and I just found them around the bend on one of the pathways in my garden that I haven't been on today. Half buried in dirt. I think a little fawn colored booger stole these and ran off with them. So now I have to be even more mindful when I set these down. When last we spoke, I was talking about getting the sweet joe pie weeds in the ground. Now, sweet joe pie weed isn't a host plant, but it produces flowers that all nectar lovers, pollinators love. And sweet joe pie weed likes the shade. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the ground. Let me show you where they're going to go. Yeah, this same one that's chewing on a whole branch of the bald cypress. Yeah, we don't eat that, sir. We don't eat that. Yeah, I think that's the one that's responsible for the disappearance of my Felco pruners. Hello, mister. Now he's chewing on the hose handle. He is like massively teething. Yeah, yeah. All right, so as you travel through my garden, remember this little triangle spot right here where my wafer ash is? That in that dirt area is where the Joe Pie weed is going to go. Okay, so here we are all set. I had to rake in this area because there was a hole here dug by some cute puppies and now I'm ready to plant these guys. This sweet joe pie weed I did order from Joyful Butterfly and if there's any butterfly gardening plants you're looking for you might check them. They ship as you've seen before on lots of my videos I order a lot from them. And I also have an affiliate link. So if you ever happen to want to order anything and support my channel in a way that costs you nothing, just go through the link that's down in the description of all of my videos. It says Joyful Butterfly affiliate link. And anything you order Joyful Butterfly will pay me a small commission on and it really helps my channel. And a lot of you already do it, and I love you for that. Thank you so much. Now, these are the ones that came with the, with the um, pot. You can just plant it in the pot. So clearly, I have to go a little deeper. And I'm just going to fit it to the sides of the pot and then loosen a little around so the roots when they go through the pot will have access and then just gonna set that in there like so and there we go So while I was here planting those, um, there's a little piece of Meepop passion vine growing up back there and there's the coolest little bug on it. I think it's a predator, so it's not cool that way, but it's really cool looking. So I'm gonna go grab my macro lens and pop it on here so I can show it to you guys. You guys, my battery just died. <laughs> so I had to run in and charge it just enough so I can go show you this little insect that I hope is still there. 
Now look at this little creature. And I know what it is. I'll tell you the name of it in a minute. I posted a picture of a baby one of these on my Instagram. And uh, one of my followers told me what it was. So I just have to go remember. Is that not crazy cool? And this thing is so tiny, like it would go unnoticed. It is a predator. And y'all, this is what it looks like. That's how big it is. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone now, poor thing. So that tiny little creature is a jagged ambush bug. And ambush bugs are predators. I think it looks like some kind of tiny little like mystical creature like that you would see in some kind of fantasy movie. <gasps> I'm fascinated by them. So the jagged ambush bug can eat prey 10 times its own size, including caterpillars. I still think it's really cool looking. The winds have calmed down somewhat and the butterflies are starting to come out. There's some monarchs flying around. But my battery is now ready to die again. So I'm going to go in and charge it. And hopefully I'll be able to come out a little bit later. And maybe the winds will be... <laughs> Maybe the winds will be even more calm and we can see some more butterflies. And a cute puppy. Hey y'all, it's Monday after work and I'm exhausted. Normally I come home and I eat dinner before I come out to the garden because once I get out here, like, I don't want to go in again. But I need to be in my garden because my garden is healing for my soul and my sanity. And there's lots of butterflies out here. So I'm just going to go wander through barefoot in my garden and get some mental health healing and look at some butterflies. Hey you guys, it is Tuesday night and I'm just coming out to do a little bit of exploration in my garden, but there are puppies rustling at my feet and there is a collection of adorable things in the garden room that I just need to go show you. Right in here is the tiny, tiny, tiny baby and egg nursery. And there are some adorable little baby caterpillars I'm going to show you. So first are the spice bush babies. You can see there is a tiny little baby. Does he have his little Osmaterium out? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Can you see his head sparkling in the sunshine? And there's another little one right there. So these are spice bush swallowtail caterpillars. These are the ones that will one day turn green and look like little Pokemon characters. 
and then they turn orange. And they're absolutely adorable. Next, we have some Eastern Black Swallowtail Baby Caterpillars on some dill. And finally, some giant swallowtails that actually need some fresh cuttings. And there's a lot of them on here, so I'm probably gonna set up another floral tube and get some fresh cuttings and then distribute them among the cuttings. I won't move them. I'll just put these old cuttings in with the new ones. And y'all, it is so nice to have a bunch of baby caterpillars, particularly swallowtails, back in the house. That means I'll have more butterflies flying in my garden soon. And look y'all, some of my liatris bulbs, this is Blazing Star, they're getting ready to bloom. Look at that. Look how pretty they are. I am so grateful to my friend who turned me on to getting these as bulbs and putting them all over. That's going to be gorgeous when those start blooming. And yeah, look who's right here. One of those cute little sulfurs I just brought in to the enclosure. He's munching away on the partridge pea. So I see he So I see he happily transferred on his own cuz it was his idea after all. Isn't he beautiful? And you can see here's a little giant solitaire caterpillar in here. Well, y'all, such a lovely evening. You know, my husband and I, we come out and sit out here a couple, two, three evenings a week. And it's just so peaceful and so relaxing. Another good reason to have a butterfly garden. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday after work. I just got home, coming out to do a little exploring before dinner. And remember I told you a few videos ago I was just collecting pots of soil and I was gonna start more seeds in them? Well, I have some pots right out here outside my door and the seeds are germinating already. I have little sprouts. So usually I just randomly mix my zinnia seeds together, but I had these Isabellina seed packets and I had several of them <laughs> so I figured well I must have really liked how these looked in the catalog or on the website which is why I had so many so I just put them all together so I can see what they actually look like and then look over here I had some no over here Look over here, I had some pipe vine seeds that I had collected last year. I've been trying and trying and trying to get them to germinate. And it looks like I just threw some in here, you know, just for another try. Looks like that might possibly be a little pipe vine seedling coming up. 
So I hope more come. That'll be fabulous. But I'll take the one. So I was editing the beginning parts I have of this video <laughs> last night. And um, the one day I came out after work, I don't know, I look kind of rough. I look like I've been crying. I hadn't been crying. I was just exhausted. And I thought, oh my, that, that looks pretty. Like, that looks like I had a bad day. But I, I contemplated, like, not even including that. But I thought, no, y'all got to see, like, my life is not perfection. It's not all sunshine and roses and butterflies and caterpillars. That there are lots of rough days, especially for teachers at the end of the school year. All right. I'm going to go play in my garden. right here in my garden is one of those pots that I previously filled with seeds and it is just packed full of blooms I should probably thin it out but I don't know you know me I like things all crammed together so I might take some of the plants out the seedlings out and actually plant them in my garden but this is what the other pots should end up looking like. Hopefully full of Isabellini zinnias. Y'all yeah, look, see that monarch? She was flying around all over the place. And so she was laying eggs on some of my milkweed out here. So I unzipped the butterfly haven and let her in. And now she's in there laying eggs all over my milkweed in there. So I'm just going to let her stay in there for a little bit. And then when she seems like she's laid all the eggs she wants to, I'll get her back out. <laughs> because y'all, I currently do not have any, zero monarch caterpillars. I found some eggs, but I don't know what the deal is. But I'm going to get some now. And y'all, this is my little swamp milkweed section that backs up to the wetland garden. And my swamp milkweed is not growing back very quickly. And I think it's because, you can see some down there, all this salvia has grown up so tall that it's put a lot of the swamp milkweed in shade. So I'm going to trim all this salvia down. It'll come back, but I'm going to trim it down so the sunlight can get to my swamp milkweed so it can grow. Y'all, yeah, this is so much better. Look at all these milkweeds that have just been buried in here. They're going to get so much more sun exposure. Look at this one. I mean, it's tiny. So that's going to be fabulous. We're going to get these guys going and get more monarchs coming. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this little swamp milkweed bed. Yeah, I am so glad that I did that. I did not realize how many tiny baby swamp milkweeds were trying to grow back under all of that. And now they're going to get the sunshine that they need. I'm going to go give them a good watering. Here's the after of the second side. There's still some weeds in there. But there's also a lot of milkweeds in there. And a zinnia coming up right in the middle of it. I love it. <laughs> 